so students uh, in this module we will look at the nuts and bolts the nitty gritty details about an airline reservation system we will look at the logical model and we will look at the data model also of course the logical model as i said before is at a higher level of abstraction it is for the decision makers and the managers and the data model is the stuff which is used by the architects by the system designers okay by the people like you all right so airline reservation systems are very complex systems and it is a complex piece of software which is running over the network and they are expensive to create they are expensive to maintain and there are a lot of details which are taken into considerations in an airline reservation system okay uh, i have given you those some of the background about the airline reservation in the previous module now we will look at the functional details the logical details with reference to the data so we will be looking at the conceptual data model and we will be looking at the logical data model conceptual and the logical data model so now let's look at more details and i will also give a very brief uh, explanation of a definition which is central to this kind of a system and that i also mentioned in the background right but i will also talk about you talk with you about it so this is the conceptual data model as you can see on your screen and something which is over here is legs legs over here also so what is the leg it is the flight that maintains the same flight number and aircraft throughout its journey from one airport to another airport so we have this airport a1 we have this airport a2 we have this airport a3 and it goes from here and goes from here and they have this same leg okay this is the flight number right now let's look at it in more detail so there are many many airports in the world so an airport has these legs and the airports have this flight schedules also and associated with this flight schedules are the flight costs and if you recall in the previous module i had discussed in a lot of details how this costing is done it depends upon how in advance the reservation was made and what is the duration of the stay and what is the class of the passenger and so on okay so we have these all those details and then we have these passengers and itinerary reservations if you recall itinerary is a seat okay so these are the seats over here and then are the payments payments reservation payments itinerary reservation seat payments and all of those things so this is the conceptual data model and now we will look at the more interesting which is the logical model now let's look at it in more details this dotted over here is the referential integrity constraint okay it is the referential integrity constraint which everybody knows i hope from this previous courses and if you read and you see over here we we have this over here pf this pf is the composite key okay this is the composite key this is the itinerary of the reservations and a passenger can have many reservations and if you recall from the previous module these booking agents they are also making the reservations and they are also making many reservations okay everyone is making those reservations right and those reservations of course involve payment dollars okay money right so this is the composite key where we are tying these things together itinerary reservations and the payments go into the reservation payments table so now we have this itinerary legs okay so this leg is flight number which is actually the leg number okay flight number and of course this is the foreign key and we have the origin airport and the destination airport if you recall the leg is going from say airport a1 to airport a2 to airport a3 this is a leg if you recall okay this is the leg and then we have this flight schedules so these airports an airport can have uh, many flight schedules 
and of course this is the departure date and the arrival date also and then are the flight costs okay valid to the date flight cost these things to be understood aircraft type and code this also includes and covers the cost also and there is the reference of the calendar okay day number and the business day and the year so there are number of ways of keeping track of the time this is all how the things are falling together so this is what goes behind this is the logical model of the airline reservation system okay this is we are talking about the online airline reservation system this is the logical model behind that that system and if you some part of your career you are there and you would like to or you are required to develop an online airline reservation system this is the logical data model i have given you the background and i have also discussed with you the conceptual data model also so logical data model conceptual data model together you will be able to design and then subsequently develop that system which will be an online system with the front end and the back end with all the details with all the tools that have been explained to you you have been exposed to all of those things so everything should tie together that is all i have for you in this module thank you very much